not an early riser. I never have been, but this one is definitely worth it. I'm at Sydney International Airport. Once a year for work, we all get together at a great location to celebrate the year just gone and to plan for the new year ahead. And today's destination is Rotorua, New Zealand. And this year, one of the group activities is right up my alley. Oh yeah, baby, mountain biking. <laughs> so joining me on the ride today is someone that hasn't ridden a proper mountain bike trail in over 20 years. And let's just say that things don't go exactly the plan. All right, finally made it. Check out the room. Oh yeah. Stoked. Now, we only have two hours on the mountain today, so we're a little limited in what we could check out, but we definitely made the most of it. All right, let's jump in the gondola and get up there. And we are here at Skyline. So I'm here with Dave, my colleague and friend from work. How long has it been since you've ridden a mountain bike? About 20, 25, <laughs> no, 25 years, yeah. So he's chosen Skyline to come <laughs> and make his debut back into the mountain biking realm. We've got a really shit day today. It's really rainy, um, unfortunately, so I apologize about the footage, but what can you do? But um, yeah, we'll try and hit some of the trails and show what they're like. Yeah. Hey, thanks for tuning in again. If you're liking the vid, consider supporting the channel by subscribing. As a content creator, it's the best support possible. Cheers, guys. Let's do up a sprint into Hucks and Hooves. If you feel, don't don't feel you have to wait up for me. No, no, no. Just head off. That's all right. We'll just chill. I'm just going to roll down this one. Yep. Okay. Holy cow! These burns are massive. There, that's the sound of Dave's balls almost getting trapped in the rear tire. That sound, I'm not too sure about. Uh, oh, that hurt. Oh, what happened? Oh, yeah, I just slipped off the back of the seat. Oh, no. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. It's been a while, eh? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, hucks and hooves, this is the one. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cruise on this one. Yeah, just cruise, Dave. Which one I think I've just ripped my pants, seriously. <laughs> yeah. How did you rip your pants? Just a little bit. Oh, you're fine. It's more ventilation. <laughs> more ventilation. You'll be fine. <laughs> Hucks and hooves straight ahead. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So it's extremely slippery today. Super fun jumps on this one. You sort of come back into the forest at the end. Trail splits here. We've got Tweedledee and Tweedledum, which I won't be doing today. All right, into the forest. A couple of really good jumps down here. All right, alpha breaks. Booms are just mint. So the 
straight away towards the end. Jump and that's it, ups and hoods. So good. Nice. So we're on high bikes today. I'm on an extra large rain with dead flat handlebars. It's just so weird getting used to a brand new bike. It makes um, sort of hitting anything with any kind of confidence feel a little bit shaky. Can't complain, right? Skyline, Rotorua, come on. Just need the weather gods to be kind to us now. Okay, describe to me what happened. I came out of the berm yeah. and I was just slightly, instead of being enough lean, I was coming out of my lean too early off the berm yep. and it pulled me to the right. And you just went and like I, a magnet? Yeah, straight to the tree. Were you looking at the tree? Looking at the tree. <laughs> so I saw, oh, who's there? What, there's a tree there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My friend built in his garden a, a, a pump track and it had three doubles in a row. Yeah. And same thing. So the first one you get a little bit, then the second one you get a bit more height and, yep. you, get, and you get a bit more speed and the third one you hit. And if you're not going fast enough, you it's, it's a steep up and, and nose down. Yeah. And I, I hit the first one fine. Yeah. Panicked a little bit on the second one and I, I knew I wasn't going fast enough. <laughs> And then I hit the third one and I knew I was stuffed. Yeah. So I went up the third one, into the air, nose dived and landed on the very top oh, and went over the bars. And, uh, I didn't break my shoulder, but I tore all the ligaments in my shoulder here. Yeah. And that put me off mountain biking. In fact, that's probably, I didn't, didn't go back to a track since then. And that must have been, yeah, it must have been like 25. 25 years ago. Yeah. So I'm quite happy going down that road again. I, I'm quite, I'm quite, on there if you yeah. want to go down the black route to go give yourself a bit more familiar with it thank you all right buddy so with dave taking it easy i decided to step it up a gear and ride one of the best trails here at skyline rotorua mr black let's get it let's go Gotta love being on a higher bike. This thing feels terrible. Oh, cherry blossom. There's a big step up here. Oh shit, yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Huge water pot. Alright, these are huge. Oh. Oh, massive step down. Oh, gap jump's closed. I think I go this way. That feels right. Oh! Phew! Oh no! That was sick. All right, Mr. Black. That was pretty sick. What a spot. I'm definitely looking forward to coming back and sampling more of what this place has to offer, but it doesn't stop there. We also got to throw ourselves off a grade five waterfall on the Kaituna River. Looking after us on this adventure today are the folks from Rotorua Rafting. 
If you're looking for a mixture of humor, professionalism, and a dash of terror, do yourself a favor and book in with these guys. They are awesome. One of the best parts of this tour, it's a learn-as-you-go experience. Essentially, you're taught all you need to know as you head down the river. Now, as you head down, the falls get progressively bigger and bigger. The waterfall is named after a chief who died in battle. His name was Tutia Musu. It was said that he was the biggest, baddest, basically. So he was laid right behind the waterfall as a sign of ultimate respect for him. Um, so before we go over his tombstone, we always ask him for safe passage and also ask the locals or thank the locals sorry, for protecting this area and uh, letting us rafts over the waterfall. Sound good? All right, folks, time for the big one. At seven meters high, Tutia Falls is the world's largest commercially rafted waterfall. There are really only two ways that this thing plays out. Either we all get completely ejected from the raft and swim to shore, or we stick it and paddle away grinning. <laughs> thanks to work for this incredible opportunity. Thanks also to Dave for having the courage to take Skyline head on after such a long break and share a trail with me. Also a huge thanks again to Rotorua Rafting for an epic day on the river. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.